Welcome and bienvenue and welcome. I am just another Pokey Dad, and if you know where I stole my intro from, you're my kind of geek, and I say geek lovingly. Here we are, full into cosmic eclipse territory now. Um, tomorrow it becomes tournament legal. Third Friday of the month it was released, so I am going to uh, throw my hat in the ring, so to speak with uh, an ADP deck, uh, Arceus, Dialga, Palkia, GX tag team, has the crazy good um, Altered Creation GX, one uh, metal energy with the extra, uh, one extra water energy, um, you get the bonus effect, you're basically, for the rest of the game, your attacks do 30 more damage, and then the bonus effect is when you take a prize, you take an extra prize. So it turns a one, uh, one prize into two, two into three, and three into four. The issue I've found with uh, builds of, there are a lot of builds of uh, ADP, a lot of them, and there are some really good ones, but the main issue all across the board that they have is they don't hit big numbers. Uh, Ultimate Ray is an awesome attack for um, one water, one metal, one colorless, 150, plus if you use the GX move, it's 180. And then you get to search your deck for three basic energy cards and attach them to your bench Pokemon, or to your Pokemon, not even your bench, to your Pokemon in any way you want. That's awesome energy acceleration. So here's how the game goes. Um, Let's say your turn one. You attach, pass, blah, blah, blah. Your second turn, you attach, you GX. So you're missing your first attack, basically, because you're doing no damage. But you're setting yourself up for the prize win uh, going forward. So it doesn't matter that you're missing that one attack. Plus you're tanking, 280. Not many things are hitting 280. Uh, you, 270 is not that hard to get to, but 280 is, which is really key in this deck, because uh, you're gonna sit out there. So um, so your hope is that you're going to, even if they take the first knockout, that you're going to take the next one and be ahead in the prizes. That's the goal. Um, but anyway, Ultimate Ray is your good first attack to start building up energy on your bench. You've done 180 damage. Um, Oh, sorry. I'm gonna, I'll try and keep that in mind. I'm on my phone. What do you know? Um, it's like a movie studio in your hand. Um, so uh, he's your ideal first uh, attack with that Altered Creation GX. And if you don't get it on your first attack, you almost it's almost not worth playing. Like... You, you've missed the opportunity because then you're going to just end up behind in the prize trade if later you have to waste an attack on a no on uh, on no damage so that's the the trouble in this deck um, and a lot of the uh, pairings you get uh, Palkia only doing 140 uh, with the extra 30 damage um, so not hitting big numbers. Um, the Blastoise and Piplup, again, doing 150, 180 with the, the, the boost up, but still not hitting big numbers. There's no way to do it. I've put in um, a few ways in this deck. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so um, one way, we are running one copy of uh, Mega Low Bunny. Low Punny, sorry, not money. Mega Low Punny and Jigglypuff. Um, tag team, Jumpy Balloon. If you're facing off against uh, another GX deck, it does 60 more damage for each of your opponent's GX or EX in play. So, I mean, you know, in, in some matchups, uh, they're only playing like you know, a bench full of, of GXs. Uh, the the typical 
um, uh, Pikaram build, you know, uh, running Zero Aura and uh, uh, Raichu Raichu and, uh, and uh, uh, Dedene. And all of a sudden, 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, you're hitting numbers. But no good against the single prize decks. Okay. We are running, well, two copies of, of uh, ADP because that's all I've got online. So that's part of why I've gone another route with this deck. Uh, one copy of Drampa. It's this is nice I, again in the one prize trade game um, because you can you can really jump ahead if you take two prizes and give up only one um, in a one prize trade matchup. Um, Dragon Arcana does seventy plus if it has two or two different types of energy attached or more it does seventy more so that's one forty. 170 with the extra 30. So now you can knock out an opposing Keldy OGX. Um, and that's another reason he's in here for the um, Keldio matchup. Because you can just, you can take that knockout. Three prizes. They'll knock you out. That's one prize. You know, you're okay. You're okay. We are running one copy of Dragonite GX. Because uh, Sky Judgment, 270 then it ends up doing 300. This is for if you just have to take one big knockout to win the game, um, you can do it with, with this guy. Two copies of Dedenne for draw, and then of course Mewtwo and Mew GX. Uh, we're running two copies, being able to copy the Dragonite, being able to copy ADP, being able to copy Megalopony, um, you know, great. Who who doesn't love Mew3 there? Uh, Keldeo GX, we're running two copies. Pure Heart prevents damage from GX or EX. Sonic Edge does 110 and isn't affected by uh, things on your opponent's active. So it gets through its own, uh, you know, in a mirror match. But again, you're only doing 140 once you have the extra 30. So not huge numbers. We've got one copy of Grin... Oop. Now we don't have one copy of Greninja GX, but I'll get it back. Uh, Greninja GX from the uh, Detective Pikachu set. Uh, let's find that again. Sorry, I'm going to play around. Eh, yep, there we go. So, uh, This uh, is one, again, one for um, uh, Mewtwo to copy. The Miss Slash does 130, 160, gets through Keldeo's. Um, it's nice, but also has the bonus that if it's the last card in your hand, you could play him right to your bench. So you could actually use him, and you get to draw three cards. So it's possible to get him into play. Um, and I like him in... in in uh, Mewtwo and Mew decks, personally. We're running four Cherish Balls to search. We're running two copies of Energy Spinner because we have to have two different kinds of energy. This uh, It's a decent way to, to pull some. Two copies of Great Catcher. Uh, again, because of the way the prize trade works, um, being able to knock out a, a GX or a Dedenne or whatever and take three prizes for it, um, is really, really can be key. Great catchers can just end games. Um, two copies of Reset Stamp. We're running four copies of Switch because you want to be able to take a hit, move if you have to move. Tag Call, four copies of that. Gets any of your tag teams, uh, which we've got, uh, you know, five different tag teams that you can grab. Uh, for Pokemon, but then we've also got the supporters. We're running two tag switches. This I found is pretty good um, to get the Dragonite attack off because if you can uh, ADP uh, attack and load three energy onto your 
uh, Mewtwo and Mew, and if you get a switch, then you tag call, and boom, you take a giant knockout. Four copies of Chaotic Swell. That way, sh getting rid of power plants, because Chaotic Swell is just so awesome. It can, it can take away two, basically two of your opponent's uh, stadiums if you play at second. So you win the stadium more that way. But Chaotic Swells just eat up um, other stadiums. So, you know, if whenever you play a stadium card from your hand, discard that stadium after discarding this one. So if they want to get rid of this, they got to use a different way other than a stadium. Otherwise, they lose their stadium as well. We're running three copies of Cynthia. One copy of Cynthia and Caitlyn, so we can return uh, Cynthia or, or a supporter from our hand, but also you get three, to draw three. Three copies of Mallow and Lana, which is really good in this deck because you get to switch and you get to deal uh, heal 120, which can really be the difference in a lot of matchups is healing. Um, I'm trying out one copy of Red's Challenge just because there are times where I really need that tag call to win the game uh, and, and I can't get anything, you know. So uh, having a, yeah, it's a supporter computer search, but having it um, could be the difference. I'm running one copy of Island Challenge Amulet Throw it on the Dene after you played it uh, to to lower the the prize trade or on a wounded ADP. So if they tag call it up, they're only going to get two prizes. Whatever you know, it, I, I like the amulet. Um, lowering prizes is kind of a cool thing. We're running two copies of Stealthy Hood, basically because of the that new Mimikyu, um, who will hurt. Uh, both your Keldeo and your your uh, uh, Mew 3. We're running five copies of uh, Metal Energy and eight copies of Water Energy. So that's the deck. Um, I, I think it's fun. It could use some tweaking, I'm sure. I'd love to hear ideas. We're going to play it in a couple matches, see how it goes. So please stay tuned and give me a shout. Let me know what you think, where we can make some uh, tweaks. I'm open for it. All right, here we are for our first duel uh, with the um, the Shape of Water ADP deck. Uh, I don't know what we're up against, but I'm guessing maybe... Um, I'm guessing that I don't want to be starting Mew in this... Uh, I'm thinking it's probably Giratina Garchomp um, GX. I don't, I don't know, but uh, Malamar and Tag Call and yeah, so definitely uh, Giratina Garchomp. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yes, I want to draw a card. Um, you know what? I will throw you down. Yeah. It almost certainly is running Mimikyu. Uh, so the only good thing I've got going here is if I get out um, the uh, ADP here. I mean, I, what I don't like, and this is where, I mean, starting second in this deck is really a bummer because you you miss the first attack altogether and there's not much we can do about it i mean i can you know i there's just not much you can do to get off um the first attack oh marshadow and machamp interesting 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 So, not bad. All right, we've got we've got a, a decent hand here. I'm going to tag call to get out um, AP. Do I want to just... I mean, because I've got options for, like, Dedene. I can get whatever I want. Uh, I kind of... 
I kind of want to get rid of the stadium using, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Megalopony because I don't need it. So I'm going to use it as a trade card with red because I want to get rid of the stadium uh, after I use the stadium. So we're going to, um, I'm going to trade off that for that. Uh, yeah. I mean, I hate giving up the, the great catcher because I know they're playing Marshadow and Machamp, but I'm going to do it here just so I can get rid of the stadium because I think that will slow them down uh, considerably. And then we're going to play that. I am not going to Dedenne right now because I want to get... I've already thrown an energy away. I don't want to run energy poor. Um, and I probably should have put that on, on ADP. That was my plan so I could Mallow and Lana and switch and not leave the exposed week to... Uh, that's going to get knocked out like on this turn kind of thing. Um, that was foolish. Oh, almost like quit the game foolish because I know better. Uh, but I was not paying much attention. So, um, if they have a way to switch, that's the game. We're done. And they don't. So, what we want to do, well, ah, I don't even know. I don't even know. We're going to look. Because um, if I get a tag switch off to Dene, I could, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll some dice here. I'm going to just switch. And then, like, if I get the tag switch, I get the tag switch. And I get the tag switch. So, uh, what do you know? Luck be a freaking lady. And we're going to go here. So we have... Um, someone not weak to Giratina uh, to load up. So we got lucky, lucky on that one. All right, so we take 130 there. What The nice thing about that is they have to three shot us here. So we're going to get, um, we're going to just put the hood on him just in case. And then, uh, here we go. So I'm going to load the other ADP first because that way, if anything hinky happens, I've got way to accelerate energy. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna load him up first here. But the the nice thing really in this matchup is if you can take that first prize, your prize trade war is really good because now you're not taking one prize at a time. Taking two changes the the one prize um, matchup considerably. So we'll see how it goes here. The other thing is um, you get to, to skip uh, sometimes. So, you know, going from like four to three, you go four to two, um, which is beautiful. So you, you'll skip over that Placephalon's 12 
counter turn, um, which is great. So let's see how, how they play this. Um, now we wish we had that uh, great catcher. Not that we, you know, taking a knockout on that would be um, only good if we load up uh, Mewtwo, which maybe we'll do on this one. Um, maybe we'll do on this one. So, um, oh, and we just win. Because it's true. We're going to take two prizes. Skip over that. I don't think they had a way to pull that one out. Um, that wasn't the best Malamar matchup to show because uh, spell tags can be annoying. But again, um, let's let's just keep going and see what we, we come up against next here. Um, in our second match. So uh, probably a dark box maybe. Not quite sure. Let's see. Could be because sometimes Dark Box plays um, Malamar. Um, again, starting the Mewtwo, not not my favorite starter. Um, just because I'd rather have ADP up there. But the nice thing is, if you get ADP out, Mewtwo is ADP. So, uh, but I'm not getting ADP out on this turn so we'll just give them the chaotic swell and a pass and hope we get a tag call or um, some sort of draw support would be sweet but see that's the beauty i mean just making them lose the viridian forest for no good reason really um I mean, play it just a bump. And if we can get something going, and if we can't, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Sneasel and uh, the new red and blue tag team, they'll be rolling. So we need something. Top deck. That's a top deck. That is a good top deck. We're going to get ADP, and then I'm going to grab Cynthia and Caitlin because we need to draw a couple cards here. Um, so that's a good top deck, and we will uh, we'll discard Dragonite and draw, and not draw what we need, unfortunately. So... Um, So we're going to just do this. What do we get? Uh, no, we're not going to waste a GX move. Um, so I'm going to switch since I have the other switch in my hand. Uh, with Mal on Lana. Because I just don't want to take the damage on... Because uh, here comes the red and blue... The uh, Weavile, it's going to get um, a couple extra energy, and then, you know, and they're going to be kind of off to the races here. So uh, where, where I'm having kind of the weak start, um, I also could tag switch if I draw uh, up, um, but I'd rather... Although if I if I draw just the water energy, then I could tag switch one. Yeah, we were we're gonna most likely lose. Um, I mean, I forget which one. Oh yeah, all the dark energy. So you know he'll take a knockout on this next turn. Almost. Well, I don't know. He's got one card in hand, so who knows what that is? But we're gonna give him another swell. Um, 
Oh, man. I don't know what to do here. Because no matter what, I'm not getting an attack off. And that's, that's just brutal. Um... So, I guess we go with these two right now to at least heal off. And again, we have to pass. This is a... Oh, and I don't know if that was in his hand or that's what he top decked, but either way, nice look. And he's got plenty of, oh no, but he's, so let's see where we're at. Honestly, I've missed the GX attack at this point. Um, Like, uh, the only way... The only way... Uh, oh, and I don't even have any Dedenes? Wow, so I'm really hosed. Really hosed. I thought I would at least have one Dedene, but I've prized both. So what are we going to do here? Because um, we're just... Uh, maybe a tag call? I don't even know. I, I miss another tag. You know what? Uh, this is just... I don't... Oh, I don't think there's any... out here. I don't. Um, we're just energy poor. Um, concede. Yeah. Dedene might have made the difference there, but uh, with that terrible, terrible start, we bit the bullet on that one. So, sometimes you're the dog, sometimes you're the fire hydrant. All right, so we go for another matchup here. Uh, so we're going for a triple-double uh, since that Second game was a, a rough one for us. Um, again, going to start uh, since I've got the tag call, and I do have the tag switch, so um, theoretically, and I've got draw with Cynthia and Caitlin, so I'm, I'm doing okay here for a first hand. Um, I don't know what we're playing against because I didn't even bother to look uh, to, to kind of get so... Clear Sky Whisper, let's see what you got going. Uh, but it, maybe another, yep, another Dark Box stick. So let's, all right, so at least we get another chance at it, right? So let's get ADP out. Let's get our Switch card at the ready. We will draw. I'm going to uh, Oh man, I'm gonna get rid of the tag catcher, great catcher. It 
Let's see what we've got available. We do have a Dedenne. So we'll grab that. Probably a bad move. We're okay. That's all right. They're not going anywhere, like, right away. But missing your first attack because... Uh, I mean, I'd like to have something in this kind of a situation that has a one attack cost that you could maybe copy with Mewtwo, but I don't really know what is worth that small amount of damage. What do we got here? Pupitar. Okay. Okay. And Sil Valley. So... We got uh, quite the eclectic combination going on. I mean, the Sil new Sil Valley is nice. It's uh, Octillery, and everybody loved Octillery, so, um, you know. All right, so we get our GX move off, which is beautiful. Um... Do I do anything? I kind of don't think so. You know, since I'm just doing this this turn, I'm not going to bother on draw. There's not much more I want to do other than get that GX move off. I want energy on the next turn. So I'm going to, you know, I'll drop the Keldeo. I'll, um, if I don't draw into energy, I'll, I'll Cynthia for it probably. Um, and Tyranitar. Roar! All right. So, um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to attach. We shall um, switch. And I'm going to have to go with this in the Cynthia because I'll up the Denny. I'll tag switch up, oh. put down a Keldeo, put down the Dene, and seem like a big brain player there for one brief shiny moment. Ultimate Ray, we're going to go this direction and I'm going to put it on here because uh, or I should have put it on Keldeo. I don't know. I'm going to put put this on Keldeo. I don't know why I didn't. That was foolish because I'm thinking I need to Dragonite but I've already done 180 damage so I'm already ahead of it. Keldeo was the play. I don't know why I even thought Keldeo wasn't the play. So um, we're doing okay. We'll drop this here. Um, we can tag call for these two. Whoa! Sorry, drop, drop there. Oh, and I win. Yay! Okay, we're gonna go for a quad because uh, I'm having fun with this deck. Let's uh, go for the quad on here. Uh, but this will be our last one in this matchup. Um, and I got the Glaceon. Nice. Nice, nice. Myth? Yes. All right. So here we go. Our quad with our um, ADP Mew Mew mashup. Uh, let's see how we go. We've got... Psychic, uh, so I'm guessing Malamar, just based on Psychic Metal, um, and this will be a good test. If it's a true Malamar deck, this is a good test because Mew Mew is weak to Malamar, so you don't even really want to play the Mew if you can. Um, so let's see how it rolls here. For Zeta 25. Need to trim the old mustache. 
All right, so lost starting hand, but they got one too. So let's go. Let's go. Um, all right, so where do we want to go first? I think we're going to just throw Drampa up, um, looking like it's a, yeah. Which, yeah, and it, his retreat is one, so that's ideal. Since we don't have, other than Mew, getting rid of stuff. Um, Keldeo's fine in this matchup just because he hits the right numbers, uh, but... But uh, really, you want to be tanky um, and use your ADPs. Uh, so that's our goal. Uh, be tanky. Because 170 is not too hard for them to hit um, with a Giratina and a Spell Tag. So not the, the most ideal um, card in this game. So really, you know, what we want to do is just be an ADP deck. So we'll see how that goes. Got the Nihiligo, which is when we have two prize cards. Yep. So I don't see us skipping that in this matchup. Um, unless we take a single prize first, then run our our GX move. But that's making us take seven prizes, essentially. Because um, you still have, or you take four knockouts, which uh, instead of three. So there's not a giant uh, point in doing that. So let's see where we are. Uh, well, okay. So I guess we're going to do this. And this. Just get rid of stuff. Um, and then I guess Cynthia, because that's a crap hand too. There we go, at least. That's that, and that's that. So, not ideal, but where we're at, right? We make the best of where we're at. It's not like they have anything great going on right now. Um, do they have a Giratina? They don't even have Giratina in the discard right now. So. Not that that couldn't change. There's uh, confused and poisoned. Yeah. Because, like, we're going to be at the very least three turns deep before we can get our GX move off. And that's no bueno, especially in this matchup. We wanted our first attack to be our, or our, I mean, like our second turn to be um, us GXing. Mimikyu I mean can copy Dragon Claw but or just Filch okay alright and we'll just give him another Swell and Dragon Claw little hit here little hit there we'll see um, how this rolls Because ideally, my next turn, but I, I need I need the uh, metal energy at this point. So the likelihood of that is is low. 
because uh, I need I would need a Cynthia or a Dene or uh, Red or well, this one not as low as uh, low as probably. Now people have talked about, um, as I stare, uh, Malamar decks being like not good and not and bricky or whatever. All I can say is every time I play a Malamar deck, it seems like this is how it goes. They hit the nuts every time, it seems like. So I don't know why people are down on Malamar uh, the way they are. Um, so... I don't know. Let's see how it goes for us because uh, we're in a not ideal situation here. Okay, come on, man. Come on. Let's keep it moving. Yikes. See, just not ideal. I suppose the only good thing is, theoretically, I can heal and switch back. If there's a bright side, that might be it. But... Um, Because, like, I, I, don't, I don't want to take one third. I mean, the only good thing is, like, I can take the 130. I could do my GX move, take another hit, and still get out of it. Um, but. That's only if I, you know, get anything good, which that is not. So, I really needed some way to get the energy because here, now we're just in a spot, you know. I probably should have switched and healed the damage there. Um, but now I'm, all I'm doing is like, trying to buy time uh, which I don't like doing this is a boring way to play but it just you know this is where this deck falls apart and the one prize matchup ideally shouldn't be so hard because uh, all you have to do is get your GX move off and then you're you're rolling um so we're going to switch in a hope that we can um, do this. Let's put a swell down, tag call. Um, let me do this. Grab you. Uh, get you out. some damage, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm playing like a donkey because I'm just baffled at what to do. 
um, in in this situation here. I don't know why I bothered to keep the red since now it's two turns from being able to use it. And honestly, they're going to take some prizes that I can't Um, then compete with because I can't do my GX move. I have to knock him out. Although, I suppose if I use my GX move, at least he's not going to be able to copycat me. Um, so I don't know. Maybe that's my play. But I feel like I'm just He's going to tag call, knock me out. Like, this, uh, the game's already over. So, well played. And concede. Move you out of the way, sorry. Let's see if we can get one more match. Uh, I said four for our dual duel, and now we're at five. So, it's five golden ring day, I, apparently. Um, if you're getting ready for the holidays... Christmas time is coming. Um, or Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. I hope you enjoy your holiday season. Uh, we are a Christmas family, but have friends of many, many denominations. So we love you all and wish you all well. And... Um, Five golden rings. I don't know. That's not really gold because we've lost half these games. But uh, uh, my mustache is crazy out of control. All right. So again, here we are. We got the tag call. So we get the ADP out. We'll grab the switcheroo. Um, I don't think I'm in any danger of anything really uh, happening this turn so I'm going to put it on him I'll throw it on the swell and I'm going to grab the energy spinner to grab that energy and we're ready to go for next turn yeah that's what we're going to do I'm not going to waste the Cynthia and Caitlin right now um because of, um, what am I trying to say? Don't get old, don't get old. Um, because I might want to use it to actually return a supporter at some point. Um, that is why she's there, not just for the draw three. Although you wouldn't know it by the way I've had to play her lately, so hers them. Play them lately. It's a pair, right? Okay, so what do we got? Um, let's just pull out another ADP because I don't even know what I'm up against right now. Uh, so we'll pull another one out, pull that out, and hit our GX move on our first attack like we're supposed to do. Let's go. All right. Um, I may have to Cynthia and Caitlin for three cards just so I can draw three. Uh, ooh, is it a Blounds deck? Why didn't I immediately think that with Poiple and a Ditto out? Uh, because I'm not paying attention. So this should be a fun matchup because um, we, while they can keep up prize wise like in terms of knockout wise I think we win the prize trade uh, in this one by moving unless they're playing the amulet version which would negate the prize trade uh, which would be crazy funny let's see what let's see what happens ooh ooh my 
Um, but also we want to get Mu out of the line of fire here since he's weak to uh, this sauce. Um, I mean, he's only going to do 160, only. Only do 160 to him. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, although I do get the, the Greninja, so that could take the knockout. Um, if I use the Cynthia and Caitlyn to get rid of rid of the Greninja. Oh, so not the Blounds version. Dragon version here with uh, Reshiram and Zekrom. Um, the nice thing is he caps out at 270. So if we can power up uh, an ADP, we could um, win that um, trade-off uh, as long as we get the first shot in. I don't know. I don't know what the math is. Uh, I was told there would be no math. So let's see what my opponent does. Okay. So I'm not going to take the immediate knockout, which would have been nice, obviously. Obviously. Um, so I have to get energy here. So we're going to get rid of Greninja, draw, and get the energy, ideal. Um, Anything else need to go to the discard? Uh, yeah, you do. Or do you? Yeah, you do. Okay. So... I'm going to great catcher up. So I can take three prizes here. And we load up another one. Because now, even though he will probably get me knocked out, um, and take us to a tie, I think then I have got the advantage. Especially if I just um, grab another Mewtwo to, to power up. Can I do that? I can tag switch. So it's theoretically, that's, I think that's the play. If he takes a knockout here, which may not happen. And if he doesn't, I can actually knock him out with the tag switch and take the game. So if he doesn't take the knockout here, um, which he's only got one energy right now with the discard, so... Although, all right, so here's where, yep, he'll get the knockout. Almost assuredly, almost assuredly. That's okay. We've got a way around it, because um, he knocks us out here. We move up, we grab another Mew, which we load up and attach to. Attach, load up, and then he can't take a knockout um, because he caps at 270. So then we can switch out, tag switch. That's all provided we don't get uh, reset stamped or something uh, crazy like that. 
which isn't even crazy. It's just what should be happening. So, um, and he's got the big hand, so almost assuredly we're going to get stamped here. And that will change our play. But if our play stays, because um, here comes the knockout. So, let's just see if we could possibly pull out. Or we great catcher. Oh. Um, all right, so here's what we do. One, we get rid of that. Let's look through our deck, and if we have a great catcher, we got reds. Um, so we're going to grab him just in case, but uh, we don't have a great catcher. Right? I didn't, oh, no, we do. That's game, because we're a great catcher. So, uh, well played. Well played. And that's the power of ADP. I mean, taking six prizes on two Dedenne knockouts? I mean, seriously. It is just kind of crazy, right? Just kind of crazy. So we end on a victory. 50-50, which doesn't work when you played five games. I'm smarter than that, but math again, math. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the deck. We'd love to hear comments. I'd like to see how, if there's ways to make this uh, viable, because um, I think there's some merit to it, but I think it has some clunkiness issues, obviously. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Remember to be safe, be happy, and be kind. Thanks for watching.